Welcome to our podcast, where we cover unique and interesting stories for you. In this episode, we will discuss how water is more widespread on the moon than previously thought. The fact that the moon has water on its surface is widely known. But now, latest observations say that water may be more widespread on the lunar surface than previously thought. These water molecules are trapped within mineral grains on the lunar surface and more water may be there in ice patches on the part of the moon that is permanently in the shadow. While research 11 years ago indicated the water was relatively widespread in small amounts on the moon, a team of scientists is now reporting the first unambiguous detection of water molecules on the lunar surface. At the same time, another team is reporting that the moon possesses roughly 40,000 square kilometers of permanent shadows that potentially could harbor hidden pockets of water in the form of ice. Water is a precious resource, and a relatively plentiful lunar presence could prove important to future astronaut and robotic missions seeking to extract and utilize water for purposes such as a drinking supply or a fuel ingredient. A team of NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center in Maryland has now detected molecular water on the moon surface. These molecules are trapped within natural glasses or between debris grains. Previous observations have suffered from ambiguity between water and its molecular cousin hydroxyl, but the new detection used a method that yielded unambiguous findings. The only way for this water to survive on the sunlit lunar surfaces where it was observed was to be embedded within mineral grains, protecting it from the frigid and foreboding environment. The researchers used data from the Sofia Airborne Observatory, a Boeing 747 SP aircraft modified to carry a telescope. Honeyball said, A lot of people think that the detection I've made is water ice, which is not true. It's just the water molecules because they're so spread out they don't interact with each other to form water, ice, or even liquid water. The second study, also published in the journal Nature Astronomy, focused upon so-called cold traps on the moon, regions of its surface that exist in a state of perpetual darkness where temperatures are below about 163 degrees Celsius. That is cold enough that frozen water can remain stable for billions of years. Using data from NASA's Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter spacecraft, researchers led by planetary scientist Paul Hain of the University of Colorado, Boulder detected what may be tens of billions of small shadows, many no bigger than a small coin. Most are located in the polar regions. Hain said, Our research shows that a multitude of previously unknown regions of the moon could harbor water ice. Our results suggest that water could be much more widespread in the moon's polar regions than previously thought, making it easier to access, extract, and analyze. NASA is planning a return of astronauts to the moon, a mission envisioned as paving the way for a later journey carrying a crew to Mars. Accessible sources where water can be harvested on the moon would be beneficial to those endeavors. Honorable said, Water is not just constrained to the polar region, it's more spread out than we thought it was. Another mystery that remains unsolved is the source of the lunar water. Honeyball also said, The origin of water on the moon is one of the big picture questions we are trying to answer through this and other research, and currently, the major contenders are comets, asteroids, or small interplanetary dust particles, the solar wind, and the moon itself through outgassing from volcanic eruptions. Earth is a wet world with vast salty oceans, large freshwater lakes and ice caps that serve as water reservoirs. Hain added, As our closest planetary companion, understanding the origins of water on the moon can also shed light on the origins of Earth's water. Still an open question in planetary science. That's all from this podcast. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to subscribe and share your thoughts in the comments. Stay connected for more exciting discussions and updates in our next podcast.